Welcome to Aihkiniemi in northern Finland, where we have the best de-expedition site anywhere. We have quite a lot of antennas here and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate to you how well our wire pointing direct north gives us reception of Alaskan and Hawaiian stations. Now today is October 18th, uh, 2018. Uh, local time is 5.11 p.m. And so we're just past uh, past the uh, top of the hour 1400 UTC and uh, let's take a brief look uh, uh, I'm using this Jaguar software as a kind of like a time machine we'll go back to the previous top of the hour and see what kind of Alaskan and Hawaiian stations we get here all right let's uh, turn the volume on and uh, the first uh, station that has some audio from Alaska is on 6 30 a.m. So there you got the ID, KIAN from Minana, Alaska. Six fifty, this is Kenai, K E N I and Prince, Alaska. To me with his Secretary of State. Report suspicious activity to local authorities. You see something? Say something. KFAR 660 AM, Fairbanks. K248 DK, 97.5 FM, Fairbanks. The heartbeat of Alaska. There you got it, KFAR with their familiar slogan of the heartbeat of Alaska. Here's another fairly common station. Can't get much of an ID, but it's KDLG from Dillingham. This one is, of course, uh, quite a common one here. This is KBRW, 680 AM in Barrow, at Kasukan Waymai, 91.9 FM in Barrow, 88.1 FM in Kotovic, Nelixson, Point Lake, Row 1.5 FM in Point Hope, and Anaktivik Pass, and worldwide at kbrw.org. Community radio from the North Slope, broadcasting from the top of the world, Barrow, Alaska. It's Thursday, October 18th, short-term forecast for the northern Arctic coast. So KBRW is located right here at the very northern tip of Alaska, and uh, so not, not quite as far as uh, the more southerly uh, towns of Fairbanks and Anchorage, where most of the Alaskan stations are located. But the distance between Finland and Alaska is about 3,000, uh, depends on where you measure it from, but about 3,000 miles, uh, way over 5,000 kilometers. So it's not quite close anyway and uh, the path for the AM signals goes directly across the North Pole. Good morning, EU leaders meet in Brussels. This one is from Anchorage. Learn more at ultimatepartyfoul.org brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. KBYR. Another Alaskan station. Looks like we're not getting the ID, but it's KOTC from Kotzebue. From Anchorage. KFQD, one of the most common ones here. This is KCHU, probably a bit too weak to get an ID now. KNOM also a bit weak to identify. Broadcasting from over here, Glenn Allen. Well, looks like they already got the station ID earlier. Let's see if we can find it here. Well, 
okay. Here it's going to be. KCAM in Glen Allen, Copper River Valley, uh, one of the many Alaskan stations that I, I visited about 10 years ago. Uh, another Fairbank station. It's KZBF. That's KSBP from Sandpoint, also a bit weak. Here's a very common station from the very, very western part of Alaska. So there you are even getting the uh, sign on legal station ID from KICY. Uh, this one is from uh, Canada. Uh, here's another Alaskan station. Okay, no, no ID from this one either, going straight to NPR news. This one is KZPA. Okay, well this station actually is uh, on 9.30, this is uh, KNSA from Unalakli, but it's uh, relaying KDLG from Dillingham, which is on 6.70 a.m. This would normally be one of the most common Hawaiian stations, uh, KKNE, we're getting some audio. Oh yeah. Well, we're not going to stay and look for the station ID. Let's move on. Back to Anchorage. This is a very common catch in Lapland as well. KFBX, and which can also often be heard with an antenna that's pointing to more towards um, the Rocky Mountains. It's, it's got a very powerful signal here. Now, now these are these are not from Alaska or Hawaii. This one is from India. This one is Como, Seattle, and so forth. Let's see where we get an understandable signal. Well, this 1040 station is probably Hawaii. Quite clearly, uh, very rare to get it uh, this strong from Hawaii, this particular station. This one from Soldotna is 
quite common as well. Well, this one is a very common station. It's quite a classic station ID that's probably been uh, exactly the same for many decades already. This one is again one of the most um, one of the strongest Hawaiian station signals that you can you can catch in Finland. Let's see if we get an ID. The station is K E W E. like we get an ID but this is KMDI anyway. It's a bit weak, a little bit weak to identify. It should be Alaska. Juno. So there we got the ID, KUPA. Common Hawaiian station KK EA. KHKA 1500. This used to be known as KUMU for decades, and uh, we still remember the old format Hawaiian music that was played on KUMU, and uh, which uh, often had quite a nice reception up here in Lapland. This one, by the way, is KFBK in Sacramento. It's one of the most uh, powerful singers from the U.S. West Coast. Another common Hawaiian. We were overwhelmed by sins. You forgave our transgressions. Keep listening to KUAU Haiku Maui, Maui's own Christian station. Welcome to Roy. <laughs> so keep listening to KUAU. Uh, that's uh, that's la that's the last uh, station on the dial that we can hear at this point with our one kilometer. 3,000 feet long wire antenna which is pointing straight north uh, here in Aikiniemi, Lapland, Northern Finland. And all this on our D-Expedition number 88 here in Aikiniemi in October 2018.